I'm so happy that a lot of you are planning to start your voiceover career on Fiverr. And someone actually sent me a message asking if I can show them how to upload their demos on the platform by sharing my screen. And I get it. The easiest way for you to learn is by me showing you how to do it step by step. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hey, what's happening? Welcome back to Speak Easy. This is the place where we can talk about your voice over career, especially if you're just starting out. If this is the first time we're meeting, hi there, my name is Anna. I am a freelance voiceover talent and I have been for a while now. So really my goal for this channel is just to help you succeed in your voiceover career by sharing some tips and tricks that I swear by. So if you're interested in videos like this one, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also tap that notification bell just so you know when I have new videos out. So let's get cracking. I'm here to show you how to upload your demos on Fiverr. Now, if you don't even have a voiceover gig on Fiverr yet, I can show you how to make one too, but not on this video because I already have an existing one for that. Now, all you have to do is click the link up here or down at the description box. But for this video, we are going to talk about how to upload your demos on Fiverr. So let's start with step number one. Because you can upload three audio clips on Fiverr, the first step is to choose three audio clips that you want to upload. For the three audios, you can either have three separate commercials that you want to upload or three types of demo reels. For example, one for your audiobooks, another one for your commercial ads, and another one for the different languages that you can speak. If you don't have a demo reel and you don't know how to make one for yourself, I also have a video for that. Just click on the link up here or down at the description box. Once you have all your files ready, it's time to visit Fiverr. But before that, if you're getting value from this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up right now? You can also share this video to that friend who you know wants to be a voiceover talent like yourself. Okay, so I guess it's time to show you my screen. Why don't you come over so you can see it? All right, well, welcome to my screen and I'm about to show you how to upload your voice samples or your demo reels on Fiverr. So all you have to do is follow my cursor right here. Let us go to Fiverr right now. And here we are. Of course, the first thing that we wanna do is go to our voiceover gig, which is right here. All right, and then what we want to do is we want to edit our gig, right? So let's go there right now. And here we are. Um, uh, this is the page where you can actually edit almost everything about your gig. So you can have an overview. This is it, your pricing, your description and FAQ, your requirements for your clients, some advanced settings. But today we are going to gallery because we are going to update our demo reel or our voice samples. Now, I'm assuming if you're wanting to know how to do this, that all of your three audio samples will be blank but I've already uploaded two because I have been doing this for a while and I didn't want to put them down just in case some clients, some potential clients are looking over my profile. But I did uh, make space for one uh, audio file that we can upload for this demo purposes. And also we will need to attach an image to our demo reel or our voice samples. And that is why I left a blank here as well. All right, so let us start with uploading our demo reel or our voice samples because that's why we're here, right? So there are two options to do that. You can drag and drop or you can browse. Now let's do both just so you know how to do it, okay? So let's choose browse first. So I'll click on that. Uh, here we go. I found desktop somehow. So here is my Tagalog demo reel. 
So that is what I wanted to do because I really do want to upload my Tagalog demo reel. So if I browse my computer, I can click on it and it's there. But I also want to show you another way, which is to drag and drop. So what I can do is drag and drop it here and it should be there. And as you can see, it already has that check mark. And all I have to do is select a title for it. So let's click on this little pencil right here so that we can edit. So this will be my Tagalog. Let's do it in all caps so it's easy to see. Demo reel. Okay. All right. So there it is. And so we will have to save that. Let's save it right now just so we... Uh, don't lose it so we can save and preview. So right now it's using uh, an old image. I download at install ngayon para masulit ang espasyo ng phone mo. At... All right, so it's definitely up there. So now we will edit our images. So it borrowed this one right here, but I also want to show you how to upload an image that will go with your demo reel or your voice sample. So let's go to Canva right now and uh, I'm here already. We can use uh, this one as our template just so that it looks the same. So let's get rid of uh, this one right here and let's use something else but and let's edit the the text. So this is for my Tagalog demo reel, right? So let's do that. Tagalog demo reel. Okay, let's do that right now. All right, so that your client will know right away what this file contains. So let's use a different image. Let's go to my uploaded content here. So let's just pull any images for now. Let's edit it by taking out the background. Okay. This should be easy. So there it is. So um, maybe I want to flip it. Okay, let's flip that so that, all right, and maybe I want to take this part out because it's getting in the way. That's very easy to do. So, okay, let's just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, a little more so that it's, there you go. This is so... Your client kind of will connect with you because there's a face to your voice, you know, it'll and it will catch their eyes because as you remember, um, there are so many voiceover talents on Fiverr, thousands if uh, not, well, yeah, thousands would be the correct number. And then what I have noticed, I'll show you later, is that Fiverr tends to compress the images, so you might want to move all of your elements closer to the center so that they don't miss out on any um, valuable information or text. So let's just move everything towards the center. This is the hard part about this one, right? Okay, hey, not so hard, that center. So there you go. And yeah, even the photos because it does tend to compress it a little bit. So let's move it and let's just give me some elbow space here. All right, so I think that's fine. So what we wanna do is save it and we save by sharing and then going to download. And then let's just go with JPEG format so it's not too big for Fiverr to uh, upload. And then we just give it a name. This is thumbnail for Fiverr thumbnail for Tagalog. And then we save it. And then it should be on our desktop right now. There it is right there. So we go back to Fiverr, right? And here we are again, just below our sample files is our images so, so let's upload it uh, upload by browsing and then 
um, uploading. So as you can see, it's very different from these two. I will fix that on another day, but this one, I sh it should work better. All right, so let us save and preview. This is us previewing it. Um, this is the first one. I won't show you that. This is the second one. This is what we just did. All right, so let's play it again. Download at install ngayon para masulit ang espasyo ng phone mo. Ang paalala na ito ay hatid sa inyo ng Pinoy Supermarket. All Pinoy right, so it's as restaurant. easy as that. And if you want to see how that looks like to your potential clients or buyers, let's switch to buyer mode right now. And let's try to find my my gigs. Oh, there I am. So see, so let's pretend we are the potential client or potential buyer. And I will look through here. So I will play this one. Magic comfort, touch so of elegance, non-wire bra. This is one Do voice sample. This is my second one. When choosing a yogurt, make sure that it has live microorganisms. It's important that it's live. So and then the third one, which we just recently uploaded, if you can see the difference, all of the details are within the re rectangle. So nothing was missed out or nothing was cut off and not even my face. And our potential client or buyers will just click on play. I-download at i-install ngayon para masulit ang espasyo ng phone mo. So there you go. It's as easy as that. Let's just go back to my page now. Let's go back to selling. Let's switch back to selling. All right. So we are back on my profile. So let's go back to our gigs. And then let me just go back to editing it so that we can go back to the gallery because I have an important reminder for you. But before that, let me just remind you how you can support me and this channel. Really, the easiest way to do that is by subscribing to the channel and liking the videos. If you want to take it a step further, you can also not skip any of the ads that are shown on the videos. And if you find that you still want to show me some love, why don't you send me a super thanks? That's the heart icon with a dollar sign in it, and you can find it somewhere at the bottom of the screen. However, which way you want to show support, please do know that I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. Now let's go back to the screen. All right, my important reminder is to make sure that your audio and your photos follow Fiverr's guidelines. Why? Because if it is not, if they are not up to Fiverr standards, Fiverr will take down your gig page until you make modification. Now, how do I know this? They actually did that to me when I changed my photos and that's how I know. So how do you know the guidelines? Just hover your mouse until this thing comes out. So there you go. So audio providing titles for your audio samples are mandatory. Ensure the production quality is representative of your deliveries. Now here, files must be in MP3 MPEG format and duration must be less than 3 minutes and 30 seconds and no larger than 10 MB. Okay, so that's for your audio. Now what about the guidelines? for the gig image. So here, the recommended size is 1280 by 769, and the minimum is 712 by 430, and then the max is 5 MB. So these are very, very important because if you do not meet Fiverr standards, there is a chance that they will take it down. All right, I will show you how to do this at another time. If you're interested, let me know down at the comment section down below. All right, so now let's get off my screen and let's get back to the video. And there you have it. Now you know how to upload your demos on Fiverr. And I do hope you start landing more and more jobs very soon. Now, if you want to know how to better manage your time as a voiceover, click on the link and I'll see you there.
And so, my voiceover friends, may your inbox be full of notifications. May you always nail your auditions. May you always have smooth recording sessions. And may your clients never ask for revisions. And with that, I'll wish you all a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! <laughs>